What's up, Homestead Homies? This is Off Guru Jug and Stacy, and I'm Stacy. And today we are going to make a delicious, healthy dessert. No bake. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to make these no bake these just dessert balls that are my absolute favorite this is what i my go-to if i have a little sweet tooth and doug likes them too because he likes anything with chocolate in them but the neat thing about these is they are very simple they'll last a week or so in the refrigerator i mean i've even kept mine longer and, and they're great and they're so easy and they are a helpful snack especially you know for children and they're easy to make so i'm going to show you how to do it because I, I make these all the time get some almond butter and read your almond butter. When you guys are getting your almond butter, read your labels because a lot of times they'll put a lot of sugars. The best way I like to get my almond butter is just almonds ground up and that is it. So look for any fillers. A lot of times they'll put sugar in it. So just make sure you're getting pure almond butter, okay? So you can use almond butter or peanut butter, either one. So I'll give you two options. So almond butter or peanut butter, then you can put some slivered almonds in there. You could add pumpkin seeds if you want, but today I'm gonna do the, this is my tried and true recipe. So the almond slivers, then cranberries. I'm doing like a big heaping cup. Now the thing is I'm not giving you exact measurements because some people may not like as many cranberries or you may not like as much of the almond slivers. So kind of maybe put, you know, what you, what you like. And then some chia seeds. Now chia seeds, when they get, um, you know, liquid put to them, they get a little gelatinous and so that'll kind of help clump it together. And besides that, they're, they're so good for you. So I'll sprinkle, you know, like a tablespoon or two in there. And then, and if you don't want to do the chocolate, you can not do the chocolate, but I like to put the little mini chocolate chips in there. Little cup, you can add as much as you want. And then raw honey right from our bees out back. So then I'm going to put that all in there. And then the last thing that I need to put inside of my dessert here is some vanilla. So I'm going to put like a teaspoon of vanilla in there and I'm going to mix it all up. And when you're mixing it up, oh, I forgot to tell you one more thing. Um, you can put cocoa powder in it too. Um, I'll go ahead and put some in there. The cocoa powder one is really good when you do it with the peanut butter because it sort of tastes like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little cocoa powder in there. So then you're going to mix it up really good. And at first when you mix it up, it does get kind of um, sticky. But the more you do it and you stir it, it's going to start to kind of get a little bit thicker. So I'm going to just let it set a little bit after I've done stirring it and then I'm going to make them into uh, balls and then you store them. Now the neat thing about it is you don't have to keep them in the refrigerator. It will make them a little harder but they don't need to be. You can keep them in a cool place. Like I like to take these. These are great like with a family. Just put them in a little bag um, and then just bring them with you on a trip and they're just great. Okay, so I'm going to stir these up a little bit and I'm going to let them set, you know, for five, ten minutes. And then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to uh, make them into balls. Be right back. All right, so what I did was I let it set for just a couple minutes um, so the chia seeds can kind of get jelly in there. And let me tell you real quick about chia seeds. They are very healthy here so much. They're full of protein, they're full of fiber, and they're full of um, omega-3s, which are great for help reducing an inflammation. So we definitely need these on our diet every day. So it's kind of glopping up a little bit. And then the last ingredient that I didn't show you yet is I'm gonna put some oatmeal in there, some whole oats. Okay, I'm gonna put about a cup in there, and then I'm gonna mix that all up. All right, so I'm going to mix this up. 
and then I will be back in another couple minutes after it kind of sets up a little bit and I'm going to form them into balls and show you what we do next. All right, so it's been a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and roll them up. And you can make them in whatever size balls that you want. You know, smaller ones, bigger ones, it just depends. And these are so awesome if you're going to take them. I take them with me. I put them, you know, in a container and I'll bring them in the car with me. Or if you're going on a trip or if you're out with the kids or in a long drive or your husband gets hungry. I mean, they're just great to come in and have a little snack on. And if you don't do any chocolate and you don't want any chocolate in them, don't put the chocolate chips in them. They're great. You could put you know, dried blueberries. I mean, just get creative with these things. These are great and they stick together wonderfully. And they, and the longer they last, like I would definitely recommend, I like to eat when I'm making them, but after they've sat for overnight, they just really absorb the flavor and they're just phenomenal. So I give these a big thumbs up. I hope you guys give them a big thumbs up too, because these are my go-to little sweet treats. I love them to death. And let me know if you guys tried them and if you like them or not because they are yummy. So check us out on Instagram and Twitter if you're not already because we are on there. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. This is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Stacy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.